Hey YouTube, RVs Far here. Thanks very much for watching. Today's video talks about the optimal speed for the bird's eye view. The drone bird's eye view is a very simple yet very interesting shot that's become a classic in the drone world. The problem I find is sometimes the drone's bird's eye view is too fast and sometimes the view is too slow. Our goal is to make that view just right, just like Goldilocks would have it. Not too fast, not too slow, just right. I was recently flying across the country looking down to Great Plains, or as those on the east and west coast call it, the Great Flyover. And even though the plane was going 550 miles per hour, being at 37,000 feet, the ground seemed to crawl by. Even though I knew that we were going very fast across the ground, we were too high for the speed to make it interesting. So after doing some experimentation and looking at many videos, I found that the rule of thumb for the bird's eye view is the number 10. What do I mean by that? So for example, if your drone is at 90 meters above the ground, you divide 90 by 10 and get 9 meters per second as the best speed for your bird's eye view. Now of course, you can speed up or slow down your video of your bird's eye view to make the video look good. The problem comes in if you're videotaping something on the ground that has motion like this river or people or animals, then your bird's eye view being sped up or slowed down on the video would look funny. So I find it easier just to videotape your bird's eye view at the right speed from the get go. So here's a quantitative example of what I'm talking about. This first video clip is filmed from an altitude of 90 meters. So according to my rule, the ideal speed would be 9 meters per second. Here we see the video slowed down to 4.5 meters per second. And it's painfully slow to watch as the drone video, the bird's eye view, creeps across the landscape. Even though there's interesting geology, it's just painful to watch. This next clip is 18 meters per second. This is twice the recommended speed and it's too fast. So like Goldilocks, we've seen too fast and too slow. And here we are at 9 meters per second at an altitude of 90 meters. That's a 10% rule in effect and this looks just right. The drone view looks just right. In fact, let's watch that video again. The drone bird's eye view shows good movement but not too fast. So that's my rule of the bird's eye view for drones. It's Divide your altitude by 10, and that's your speed for the bird's eye view. I think that gives a reasonably interesting shot without rushing the shot, or without dragging the shot. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate my viewers. Please hit subscribe, and I would appreciate any comments or questions about the bird's eye view, especially any disagreement or people think that this 10% rule gives you a bird's eye view that's too slow or too fast. Thanks again for watching. RB's Fari signing out.